In this episode, I'm going to be working on the engine, getting the engine ready to go back into the bike. Um, it needs to be cleaned and painted. I'm going to pull off the starter relay, the carburetor, plug some of the holes that I don't want any water to get in, and then I think I'm going to take it over to the pressure washer and clean it up. Put a couple pieces of uh, just cloth in the intake port and the vacuum port. I need to put a little bit in the exhaust port here. And then I'll be able to uh, take the pressure washer out and clean it all up. I'm going to hit this with some simple green first, just to kind of loosen up the grease. Uh, I found this stuff works really, really good. And then I'll bring the pressure washer in. got the engine cleaned up as best as I'm going to. It's not perfect. And, um, you know, that's okay for me. I'm just trying to make it look a little nicer. As long as the side covers are good, I'll be happy because that's what you're really going to see. This is all going to get dirty again very quickly. I'm just going to use some Rust-Oleum engine enamel. pretty good. I'm actually very happy with the way that it did end up turning out after it dried off. In order to uh, mount this engine on here, they had to drop it down a couple inches because it's so tall. So I'm going to change the engine mount a little bit. The engine mount sits about here. So what I need to do is just extend this down. So I'm going to cut this in half and then weld the two ends together because I don't have any square pipes that will fit in here. So I'm going to make a little bit of my own. That's going to go right right here, and it's going to bring it down. I will need to put my engine back in so that I can mock this up. It's got four mounts total. I can hang the engine on just the back three, and it'll be fine just sitting there so I can, you know, mark up, make sure that everything's going in the correct places. built and it's painted and it's drying right now. I'm going to start disassembling the rest of the bike and get that ready to be painted. All right, so I got the frame all hung up now. I'm going to go through and clean it and sand it, get it ready for paint. Okay, now I've got it all sanded down. It's not a perfect sand by any means. Just trying to get it to a state that it looks fairly decent. I'm not into making it absolutely perfect. This is the color I'm going with for the frame. It's just a green spray paint. And then it has a, it's actually a glitter spray paint on top of that. And it creates this really, really cool kind of almost metallic flake color. I'm going to get that across the whole frame and then all the other pieces on it are going to be black. That way the frame kind of pops out from the black all around it. Right, so these are the two paints I'm going to be using. Just rattle canning it. This is just the Rust-Oleum and then I have the Rust-Oleum glitter paint here. And I'm just using this to kind of just mist over the top of the whole bike. That way I get that really cool metallic flake look. in here but you can see the little flakes on there now it's a kind of matte color right now it's not super shiny yet and that's because this will get a clear coat as well and it's gonna lock in all the little flakes that I put on there I'm just gonna be using the rust-oleum crystal clear enamel that's 
that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I release a new video every Friday, so be sure to like and subscribe for that.